Oh my god, hi, good morning, how are ya? I'm so glad you're here. Okay, so today we are going to be attempting to do a 24 hour DIY budgie on a bad, budgie on a bad, baddie on a budget, hello? Baddie on a budget glow up, did I say that? 24 hour DIY baddie on a budget glow up. I just got back from bringing Silas to school, I quite literally just rolled out of bed feeling like a sewer rat i have mascara from yesterday on <laughs> um and i just haven't it's my time of the month you know it's gray outside here in austin and i just haven't really been feeling you know feeling my baddest um and it what i've learned is it costs a lot and it takes a lot of time and energy to be a baddie so we're gonna do some things today that last a little while. Like we're gonna do them and then they last so like you don't have to do anything for a, for a little bit. And you could just be out here like, <laughs> baddie. Um, so I got these DIY lash extensions from TikTok. I tried them last week. They lasted a, an entire week, okay? I'm not by any means a professional at putting these on, but they work, okay? So we're gonna do this. Um, we're gonna do some self tanning because it's giving Elon Musk at the beach. Mm. This is the tanner that I normally, hello, can you focus? Okay, it's B tan, I want the darkest tan possible. It's their darkest one. You can get this at Walmart for like $9. It's super cheap and it does the job. I got this one off TikTok shop that is definitely more expensive. It does last longer, but if you're looking for super budget friendly, this is what you need. We're also gonna be doing my nail extensions today. Now, I started this a couple months ago. I bought like all the stuff, like DIY nail stuff off Amazon. And I do have everything in an Amazon storefront link somewhere. I'm gonna try to link it here. I'm not sure how to link things on YouTube, but we're gonna figure it out together. Um, they last about three weeks. You do them from home. Each set probably comes to like, I don't know, 10 to $15. Once you have all the stuff, you can do them so many times for way cheaper than, than the salon. And I love that for us. First step is gonna be getting my crusty ass in the shower and exfoliating, shaving, um, doing all the things you need to do to prepare for a self tan, okay? The things that you are absolutely necessary, you need to exfoliate and get, especially like your elbows and your knees, and then put some lotion, put a little bit of lotion on when you get out of the shower. Um, I apply my tanning stuff with a mitt and I also got this like back thing that's brand new. I haven't used it yet, but I'm going to try to do that because I usually don't even worry about my back. I'm like, just like my back, the back is none of my business. I can't see that. That's none of my business, but I'm going to attempt to do it right today. So BRB. Okay. I'm back. And for the purpose of this video, I am out here looking a little crazy. I normally do this naked by myself in the bathroom and get just everywhere on my body, but to show you guys the process, we're gonna do it like this. Um, like I said, this is the one I normally use. It's B Tan, it's from Walmart. You can get it on Amazon. I think it's like eight or nine bucks. And this, I've had this for like a year. So it's got a lot of tans in it. And this one is perfectly fine, okay? Cost effective, we love this one. But I did get this one from TikTok. This is P to Jane. This is the one I'm gonna be using today just cause it is a little bit darker. And I feel like it does last longer. It is a lot more expensive though, I'll say that. So we're just gonna start her out. Oh, and forewarning, um, you're supposed to wash this off like the, the most ideal time to do it is overnight like you do it before you go to bed and you sleep in it and then you wash it off in the morning I'm just gonna leave it on until tomorrow I'm putting it on now it's morning time hours and I'm gonna wash it off tomorrow forewarning though you will smell like hot dog water you will so as long as you can stand that get to going all right so we're just gonna uh, that's a lot I think we're just gonna start her off whoa that's a lot that's a lot, girl. That's a lot. Okay, so for my face, I usually just take the excess, like after I've done a big part of my body, and I just, hopefully this is not too dark. I've never used this one on my face. I just rub it all over. Some people use a brush and they do like a contouring effect. Maybe I'll do that after I get the first layer on, but I just wipe it all over. That's what it We may have to wash this one off. I don't know. Because this one's serious. Don't forget your ears. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, it's fine. Is it? It's fine. Everything's fine. 
Fine. Maybe if we just put some makeup over it, like after, it would be fine. I don't know. Maybe do use a brush for this part, you know? Maybe. This is gonna work out how I thought it was gonna work out. I don't think this is gonna work. This, was, this wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> wasn't supposed to look like this. I should have used the other one. I should have used the other one. Okay, so uh, I, I f***ed up. Yeah, um, I wasn't expecting this to be what it's looking like at all. This was not my intention. Um, there's no way I can wear this all day today so um i'm gonna let it sit for a couple hours and then i'm gonna rinse it off and i'm gonna pray that it doesn't look like this i don't think i'll be using this one anymore this is a little too much for me this is a little too much this one doesn't last as long and it's a lot it's a lot lighter but it, what's happening what's a, you do this one don't do that oh i'm gonna pray to god that this looks okay when i Wash it off. So we'll, we'll check back in. <sighs> Checking back in already. I had to wash it off immediately right after I said, I'm going to wait a couple hours. I went and washed it off. And then I put the B tan on because do you see how much more mild it is? Like I can wear this during the day and it doesn't look crazy. Even my face like that can be, it's a little, it's a little blotchy because that one has the Peter Jane has bronzer in it. I think that's the problem. So maybe it's good like if you wear it overnight and then you wash it off, but not for me today. No one had not had the time for that. So this is this is just gonna have to work. Okay, I am looking a little blotchy and orange, but trust the process, it's gonna all come together. I actually have to put some makeup on when we're done to do a couple brand deals, and that's gonna we're we're gonna handle it, and underneath it will just be stewing and giving me a nice glow. Not making me look crazy like I just did because <laughs> I'm gonna use these lashes. I don't know the name. I'm gonna get that from my TikTok shop from you guys. For you guys, hello. Um, first step into doing your own lashes is you I heard this from the real girlies. Okay, it's like lash stylist, me. Um, you're gonna just curl your lashes. <laughs> seems good enough then we're gonna go in so this has it comes with these little tweezers and the bond hello bond and seal so you're gonna put the bond at like the base of your lashes and then just put the lashes up underneath um I'm not a pro yet but I'm I'm working on it I will say the one thing I don't like about this set it is not it hello it did not come with remover, like the remover to get the lashes off. Thankfully, I had that because I've used Falscara before. I think that's the brand by like Kiss or something. I like that one a lot, but it just doesn't come with a lot of lashes. So if you get that one and then you just get some like lash clusters from another thing that's like way cheaper, then you're saving money. And we love that. Nice. So let me, I'm going to speed this process up because it can get boring. But I guess I'll try to show you um, first like the process. So you take the bond and you just want to get it like on the base. Like you don't want to go all the way up your lash. You just want to get it on the base. I also put a little bit on the actual lash extension. So just feel like it sticks better. Um, so yeah, just get up on there in the base. Then we're going to take our lashes. 
You can also put some seal on your tweezers if you have problem with it like sticking because that, um, the, what is it called? Bond. The bond is sticky. Um, so I'm going to take a little bit. <sighs> I'm going to take a little bit of the bond and I'm going to put it on the bottom. Wait, no, no. The top of the lash, like the strip part. Yeah. And I'm just going to put it. I don't know. I'm going to put it right up under. No. No, not like that. There we go. See? And then you just do that same process for the whole thing. too girl um so when you're done you want to take the seal seal and you just want to put some on the bottom like that and then I also <gasps> try not to get in your eye I, I literally just poked myself in the eye so many times and this stuff don't get in your eye because it burns but I just put it like that and then I also <sighs> Put it on in between the tweezers and then clamp it down. Not me crying. Huh. Just take the seal, put it up on there like that. I don't know how much you're supposed to use, but this is just what I do. I don't know. And then go along the lashes and just clamp them down. Okay. <laughs> just like that. are done I know I'm basically a lash tech <laughs> um so these last the last time I did them they lasted about a week and they honestly probably could have gone longer but I was like ripping them off by day seven um so these are you just wake up and all of the things that we're doing is like you kind of just like wake up and go and you're already like you got a little glow to you you got some lashes next time we do this I'm gonna get some um brow dye is that what it's called? Brow dye? And we're going to like tint, tint, brow tint. We're going to tint our eyebrows. I didn't have time to do that this time. Also some pressed white strips. These are all things you could do where you just like wake up in the morning and just feel ready to go. And that's the whole point because I hate getting ready and I just don't have the time or energy most days. So this is just something where you can like get up and get ready to go. Now we're going to add some extra things that I'm kind of going to gonna go out of order. Um, I'm going to do some hair and makeup real quick and then we're going to pick an outfit because I have some work to do really quick and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna do my nails, all right? I have some real girl makeup. I am a drugstore girly. I've had all of my makeup, quite literally. If you've seen my like realistic makeup tutorials, this is the palette that I use. I've had this for over 10 years. I call it my deep depression palette. Um, And if you know, you know. But I got some real girl makeup from Tardy. 
Don't be tarny to the party. Whoa, whoa. Tarny to the party. And we're gonna try it out. This is from TikTok Shop. Everything is over there in my um my TikTok store, whatever. What it was it called? TikTok shop. I don't know. But they have amazing. I will never, I'm sorry, tardy, tart, whatever. I won't go to like the fancy Sephora and stuff and spend a ton of money on makeup. It's just not something that I like and enjoy doing. So they have like major deals on real girl makeup over there. And I think like I got, what did I get? I got this, um, is this shape tape? What is this? Shape tape. And I got a blush and then like a contour, like a darker. I got two shape tapes. And a blush, I think, for like under $30 or something. Something crazy like that. So they have amazing sales. So if you're interested, go on over there. And can we just talk about how this comes in such a nice package? Are you kidding me? This is what it feels like to be a real girl? Wow. It says, kind is the new pretty. I love that. This is not sponsored, by the way, at all. So I just want you guys to know that this is going to be like my real, real life freaking review and stuff of what these look like this this shape tape came with a maracuja lip, juicy lip i don't know what that is but that sounds fun oh i got this i got this so it's a contour stick like the little you know how the real girls like they put it all over like this and then a blush i don't know what they're really called and i'm no sorry that they won't focus but what is this called sculpt tape and blush tape <laughs> this is how i do my makeup when i wear makeup it's probably not the right way um so just bear with me all right bear with me i'm just gonna take some of this is too dark for me well no i feel like it'll work i just put a little bit i don't wear foundation a lot because i feel like it makes me look old so i just put it in like some of the places that i need it this may not be my color match but um we're just gonna blend it out just like this. It's gonna come together, okay? Just trust the process. Um, we're just gonna, this is a little orange, this one, I think. So I just put it in the areas that I need it and I kind of blend it out. I've had these teeny tiny ones that I got from Kohl's with my Kohl's cash, these two, and I don't think either one of them are my shade, but I've been like blending them together and it's just been working for me um and yeah i got them with my kohl's cash so they were basically free i was like let me i've never had real girl makeup let me just try it out you know for shits and giggies damn maybe i should do my whole face just because i'm a little blotchy what do you think probably right we're gonna blend it out i blend it out Okay. Just looking a little better. I think this one is a little lighter, so I'm just gonna go in. Just like a, yeah, all right. Just a little bit. This is probably way too much makeup for my face. Just for my face because I feel like at my old ass age or my, it's not old, but like in my 30s, I've realized that when I wear a lot of makeup, it just makes me look old as hell. Like I want to beat my face so bad, like the real girls, but it just, I feel like I look like I'm 80 years old and I don't really much like that. And we're just gonna... I think these two shades mixed together are more what I'm looking for. The first one was a little bit orange. For me but this one i feel like just lightens it up a little bit and brings it together i basically just put it on the areas on my face where i have like redness which is usually just like my chin and my mustache and my the sides of my nose and for some reason right here i get like red right in between my brows not the tanner hairline I'm gonna have to fix that. We're just gonna pretend like it's not there for right now, okay? It's fine. Everything's fine. Let me try to fix this because that is not cute. It's a little better. <laughs> okay, then I'm not telling you. Okay, you hear me? Now I'm gonna go on with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Oh, you know what? We should try the contour stuff first, right? Hold on. We're gonna attempt to try to use this. Um, I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared. 
I'm just gonna do it how I've seen the girlies do it. I've never used this before. Oh, okay. Does it just, how does it? Oh, there's like a little, hmm, off, on. Okay. Oh, look at that. I don't wanna use too much because I will be out here looking crazy. Is that how you do it? And just like along the line, I think. Right? I don't freaking know, dog. And then I feel like they go like this. This could make or break me. Right? Something like that? I don't know. Shh, I should use a different beauty blend, right? First of all, get out of my face. We're just going to use the other side. And I think you like blend it into your forehead. Oh. try again one day another day okay now I'm gonna go in no we're now I think we do the blush right you're supposed to use like cream products and then powder I think I think that's how the real girls do it I think okay turn on power her up okay is that too much? Is it not enough? I don't know. Okay. I'm using the same thing for everything, which I know I'm probably not supposed to do, but... Okay. Cute. I love it. I love it. I'm on my journey to being a real girl. Should we put some of this on? Should plumper? What the heck? I don't know how this works, but let's just put a little bit on, see how it goes. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna go into my handy dandy deep depression palette and I'm just gonna dip into the shade Trench Foot. And we're just gonna that's hard to do on camera. I'm just gonna put it on my eyeball. Just like that. I'm gonna get that all on there. Just like that. <laughs> Looks good to me. Back into the deep depression palette for the brows. I'm gonna dip into doo doo brown. <laughs> doo doo brown for the brows, okay? I know the makeup girls are screaming right now. I know, I'm learning. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with this eyebrow pencil thing and I'm just gonna fill them in with some strokes, okay? Just a little bit. I usually just focus on like the front of my brow, just so it doesn't look like a block. 
I don't like my eyebrows looking like Roblox, you know? Now I'm gonna go into my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, and I'm just gonna bronze the spots like around. I'm gonna do my forehead up here, these are my cheeks, okay? I'm gonna do it like that. Ew, so I'm just gonna do this side. Don't forget your neck, okay? This is not 2006. Don't forget your neck. Okay. I'm gonna take a tiny bit of this and just do like the, I guess like the bridge of your nose you're supposed to do. That might be too much. Like that. I don't freaking know, dog. Um, I'm back with the same Bloody Blender. Bloody, Bloody. Beauty, beauty, beauty blender. What the fuck? Okay, I'm just gonna go like that a little bit. Okay, gonna go in with my DG99 Dollar General Batty Brush, and we're just gonna dip into some blush, some powder blush, and get it all on there like that. Okay. Is that too much? It's really hard to do this on camera. <laughs> it's a little bit on my nose too. Okay, next, I'm gonna dip into this highlighter that I got at the dollar store like probably 10 years ago, DG99. I'm just gonna put a little bit and then the dip in my nose like that and just right over here. People always ask me what I do for my lips and I don't do much. I don't wear lipstick because I feel like it looks weird on me, but I take this eyebrow pencil that I've had for a million years and I just line them a little bit I go like in like this. Like I don't do my whole lip. I do like in. And this makes your lips look bigger. It just gives them like a little shadow. It's hard to do. You should do it when you don't have anything on your lips and then put lip gloss on. Uh, or you're just going to do the best you can. It just kind of gives you a little pout. Ooh. Makeup is done. So now we're going to do my hair real quick. Okay. I don't know if we should straighten it. That would be easy because my hair's already straight. Just kind of straighten it some more or use the beach waver and give it some curls. Hmm. I think we're just going to curl it a little bit. This is the beach waver. It's a rotating curling iron, which for girlies like me who can't be a real girl, I don't know how to curl my hair for shit. I just truly can't. So this thing rotates for you. Life changing. Absolutely life changing. Um, so you just take a little piece of hair or whatever, um, and you clamp it, and then you just watch this. That's the wrong way. <laughs> Make sure you're going the right way. But this thing literally takes me like five to ten minutes to do my whole entire head. It's amazing. done i'm just gonna i'm gonna let her set i'm not gonna brush her out yet i'm just gonna spray her a tiny bit just a little bit <coughs> and while we wait for her to set we are going to pick an outfit and put real clothes on now i'm thinking something basic i'm thinking just like a bodysuit and some jeans which if you know me this is what i live in so that is getting dressed up so let's try it on all right here's the outfit i'm thinking Super simple, black shoes, black belt, black bodysuit, and some jeans. Is it cute? Huh. Can you guys see the shoes? I'm so used to recording like in short form on TikTok and all the other places that it's really hard for me to get comfortable with going this way. Can you guys even see me? Can you see me? What the fuck? Look at the shoes. Can you see the Is that cute or no? Is it ugly? I just feel like, let me let me give you the full, let me give you the full vibes. Real quick, let's just brush out this hair really quick. Should get that out of the way. It 
This side came out better than that, but that's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's literally fine. Oh, when we had some jewelry too, what are we doing? All right, I just added some like gold hoops or whatever and this gold heart necklace. I need to get like some of those stacking clean girly aesthetic chain, chain gold necklaces. This is all I got, so we're working with what we got. But pretend you saw me like in public, right? It's kind of giving like rich suburbia mom, right? Watch this. Like add the shades and a little bag. And then you could be like, lavender, Epsom salt, CeraVe, Aquaphor, hop in the G-Wagon. We're going to daddy's. Right? Like we don't like. I'm sweating. What do you think? See, the tan doesn't look crazy anymore. It's kind of all blended in. I don't know what's going on with the, the lighting there, but yeah all right it has been a couple hours you guys are gonna freaking hate me i'm not gonna have time to do my nails today uh the time got away from me i had to do a bunch of work in between and as you can see the tan is like starting to set in but it doesn't look crazy that b tan is like a mild level you know i, I want to say it's like mild buffalo and that other one that we did is, is like the hottest what's what's how do you decibel the hottest shit you could get um we couldn't do all that not today but i think from i'm gonna do a little before and after pics because i took pictures of what i looked like this morning to now that's a whole catfish what is going on and so the tan will last it's looking a little is it looking a little splotchy i don't know i don't literally don't care it's fine the tan will last at least like, usually like a week like it fades obviously with every shower you take it fades the lashes are gonna last a week um, the hair will last me because I don't be washing it. If you wash your hair, it probably won't last that long, but this will last me a couple days. So at least for the next few days, I'm going to be a baddie. And we did it on a budget. We did. We did. And next time I will make a full video dedicated to how I do my nail extensions that last three weeks. Girl, it's like better for me. It's like better than the salon. They last longer. I'm not like a pro or anything. Like I'm still working at it, but it's pretty easy and they come out really good. And like, I come from the generation of $25 sets with two free designs. I, I, I can't rationalize, I can't justify going to the nail salon and spending over $100 on one set. And lash extensions, like $80 every two weeks or whatever you gotta go to refill them, I just, I can't. I can't uh, so, I, I think we did. I'm, I'm still working on this YouTube thing, guys. It, these take a lot more time than my short, short form, um, content and I'm still working on how to get it all together because when I tell you the longer videos take me an entire day like I need to dedicate an entire day to filming and and just filming I haven't edited any and, and hello I haven't even edited any. okay you know what I'm trying to say so I love you so much I'm so sorry we couldn't do the, the nails today but I'm gonna do a full video dedicated to it there is a tutorial um from you know like I think I posted it over from my TikTok that I did a couple months ago so if you want to watch that and everything is on my Amazon storefront if you want to buy the stuff so we can do them together you want to do them together anyways I think we did good so I love you so much and I hope you're having the best day and follow me if you like and subscribe to my channel